First of all, Brighton, with a win, can move to the top of the mm. table. You're always trying to figure out what early on in the season might be fool's gold. Mm. Are Brighton really this good? I think on merit, they're, they're this good. Mm. And, and I hope they go top of the table today. What a brilliant story it would be. Look, when I look, this is their fifth straight Premier League season. When I look down the last four, they finished 16th, 15th, 17th, and 15th. That's who they are. Mm. Um, we've asked a question a bunch. Robbie, myself, Robbie Musto. When is Grant Potter, who's been hailed as the, one of the best young minds in British football by Pep Guardiola, other managers, the media, when's he going to kick this team up the table? And when I, look, when I look at them and I think, now's the time. They've solidified themselves and they've spent four, five seasons in the Premier League. Now when are we going to see the best of them? And if I'm being honest, it's difficult. It's a small club. It's a small budget. Grant Potter's having to work miracles. They sold Ben White, one of the best players, for $70 million. The, uh, this summer, but they haven't even spent that to bring players in. So it's not a big spending club, and it takes a lot for Grant Potter to mold this team into what it's supposed to look like. And what we're seeing now yeah. is that team. You said he's been hailed by the media as an up and coming manager, mm -hmm. Grant Potter. Here's one of the guys who's yeah, hailed him for a couple of years now. Yeah. You got to be feeling pretty good with what you're seeing so far. Signed up member of the Grand Potter Fan Club. <laughs> and um, I loved a quote he, he made maybe about 12 months ago where he said, If you haven't got cash, you have to coach. You have to improve your players. And it just hit a, a point with me where this guy goes on the training ground, he gets his tracksuit on, and he gets to work. And he improves players. He makes them better. And it's a team that has got no, no star name. When you think of Villa, Aston Villa, you used to think of Jack Grealish. You think of Southampton. Danny Ings would get the goals. They haven't got a necessarily a main man. Mope does OK. Basuma's probably the star that's going to go on to bigger things. But Gross, you know, um, Trossard, uh, Leanne, um, Lalana, players like that are all sort of average players who raise the game playing in the system this guy plays. And I thought it's a, it's a really interesting contrast today. The M23 derby, Patrick Vieira and Graham Potter. Patrick Vieira, player, Hall of Fame. I mean, Arsenal, great. I mean, played against him a couple of times, as good as there is in midfield. Graham Potter was, in some way, a journeyman centre-back. Stoke, Southampton, West Brom, you know, sort of played around the, the, the leagues, not necessarily at the top that much. But let's talk about managers. Patrick Vieira, the rookie, kind of learning his way on his trade. Graham Potter, the manager, rising star. Bright football mind. Probably going to end up at a big six club. That's the difference in the two men. And the way that Potter goes out to work, the way that he improves his players, marks him out as a very special man. And it's a credit how they've started where they are and how they've got a chance to go top of the table after six games. He's saying he could be a potential big six manager down the line. Some people thought it would happen right now with that Tottenham opening. Their ownership said, no way, we're keeping Graham Potter. What about on the other side of it? You mentioned Patrick Vieira here. Uh, what do you think of the job that, that he has done so far? Well, I think they're growing. You know, early on, there was a couple of bumps. It's still early, but they're growing. And I like the way that Crystal Palace went about their business. The transition with Roy Hodgson, they kind of knew he was on the way out. A bunch of players out of contract. So they said, we'll let them go. Rather than sign them all up, we'll get in Patrick Vieira. We'll let him bring his own players in. I, I like Ben Teke. I don't think he's incredibly prolific. They can play off the front with him. Gallagher has been brilliant, I think, in the midfield. Edward, he's brought in. Zaha's a star man. They're growing together. And in a league where managers don't get time, I do believe Crystal Palace will give him time. Yeah, uh, I like the job he's doing. I think it's a good-sized job for him. Um, he's got to learn his trade. He's got to understand about picking systems, winning games, making substitutes, pl having players who are unhappy with him, keeping players on side. All the little details that Graham Potter's gone through and now starting to, to pursue in his career... Patrick Vieira's got to do the same. And the most important thing for any new manager going in a club, win football mm -hmm, matches. Mm -hmm. You win football matches, the fans get on side, the players get on side, and winning an M23 derby against Brighton today is a pretty good chance. Yeah, a lot of other fans will be looking at the other sideline saying, mm -hmm. why not us? Why can't right. we be there? That's the plan. That's why they brought in uh, their new manager. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.